Mm, I wish it were smell vision. So good. You check it out. <laughs> I'm listening to a YouTube podcast while I clean. The screen has to be active on my phone to keep playing it. It's not going to play like if I was listening on SoundCloud. I'm too lazy to find it on SoundCloud. So I have strapped it to my arm. <laughs> Fantastic. So cheap. Hello and welcome. Uh, it is Monday. I am having a business Monday. I'm trying to be more productive. Yeah, I'm only wearing concealer and you can clearly see there's concealer. I don't care. The concealer's a little like... Almost making me look more tired because it's so thick. I was catching up on the OJ Simpson special on FX, which we have on our DVR. Amazing. It wouldn't have been on my radar except that I have a really dear friend of mine who played the limo driver in the opening shot. Here's some genius filmmaking for you. It opens on a nervous white man. Like, he's just such a genius about setting tone and setting mood. Like, that's visual storytelling at its absolute finest. That's just so, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't have picked up on it except that that nervous white man that, you know, Ryan Murphy opened his entire series on was my friend Bo. And he did an amazing job. Yeah, he's not normally a nervous white man. He's a very upstanding, confident guy. But it just it was well done. So I'm proud of him and got turned on to it and I've been watching it and I'm, I'm just hooked. David Schwimmer is amazing. John Travolta. Anyway, long story short, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. I'm sure they've been marathoning it. And it's a really cool look into the 90s. <laughs> they make the 90s look way older than I remember them being. But whatever. I was like as young as the Kardashian kids. Yeah, the Kardashian kids are in it. They have little kid actors and I was like that their age and younger. So I don't remember any of it. So watching it, it's been very fascinating to see like what they're doing. Okay, so today... My little brother, he had a long conversation with me the other day about business plans. Having a written down business plan and a written down inbox to-do list that is constantly checked to increase productivity. Excel spreadsheet for accountability. And when he was showing me like business plans of these companies that he's researching, I was looking at these business plans and I'm like, I made this without knowing what it was. And I want to show you what I made. Okay, so this is my handy dandy file box. This is what has survived a lot of life events. Well, there's contracts, there's vouchers, invoices, portfolios, there's old resumes, there's short stories that I've written, there's scripts that I've written, there's a book in there that I wrote. This... I was living with a family in Los Angeles, and I sat down with a sticky paper, sticky notepad and I went through and wrote down all of the different tasks and categories my life needed. See, that's something for my own life, like something that needs time and attention because it makes me healthy. That is a skill that I have. I, I'm, I do have a skill of administration. Uh, I don't use it very often because I also have ADHD, so it's like by the grace of God that I'm actually decent at it. Um, practicing my craft is something that needs attention. Marketing is category. Anyway, so I made all of these things. So as you can see, I, yeah, because basically what I did is I just like got a whole big chunk of things and just started writing things as they came to mind. Just free flow, just like write it down, put it away. And so I had this huge table of sticky notes with all these different names. The family that I was living with, um, the grandmother, she was looking at this like huge table of just brain fart, like just getting all of this stuff that was spinning around in my head out on the table. She looked at it and she's like, you're not done with your career yet. You're not done starting your, you're not done. Because I was on the vents of like, should I give up? Should I change careers? And she's like, clearly you're not done this. And she helped me reorganize them, figure out some kind of a schedule and focus on all of these different things that need time and attention and energy and work. I was getting overwhelmed by how much work. Because even if it's like, it's just you, you technically still need to do research. You technically still need to, you know, invoicing. You technically, you still need, and that's, you know, an accounting department, a research and development department, a, a writing department. I feel like I have horrible writer's block right now. And it was so funny because I had like sectioned off a huge chunk of these sticky notes towards like, okay, so this is, these are some of the steps I could take to create a new career for myself. And she like separated that category and put it back into all the other categories. She's like, those are skills that will help you build your business. So you're not done yet. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm also stubborn and <laughs> don't want to give up. 
even though I have no resources. Um, and I have all of these notes, and I'm gonna turn them into an Excel spreadsheet and make a proper business plan. Because that's what they are. That's what they were. It's like the beginnings of a rough draft of a business plan. Hey, filming content! Ha <laughs> ha! Up here, create content! Yeah! Check! actual concrete tasks. My little brother says that that will help create efficiency. You gotta take your dreams and turn them into goals, and then you gotta take your goals and turn them into tasks, and then you gotta go do those tasks. So I, I made that list and then promptly got overwhelmed at how long it was. I went back on YouTube. Uh, but when I was on YouTube, I found Superwoman's channel, and she literally just did a video about how to get it done. So I'm going to link that, I'm going to point at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> That's what the kids do these days. I highly recommend that video. Alright, YouTubing is done. Nothing is impossible with God. I did that to the waiter last night. He ripped me a new one, absolutely made fun of me, wrote it on the check. Click. I was like, people, yeah, you click. You click when you gesture. Am I the only one who clicks?